Two other number systems are frequently brought up in relation to computers. These include octal and hexadecimal. Octal is a base 8 number system, and hexadecimal is a base 16 number system. Both have particular uses in the world of computer science, but hexadecimal is perhaps more interesting. The hexadecimal system is base 16, which means we use 16 symbols in representing numbers. Clearly, using 0 through 9 is easy enough, but what do we do about the numbers 10 through 15? We simply map these to the letters A through F. For example, the decimal number 14 is simply represented by a capital E. One hexadecimal digit can code four binary numbers with one digit. If you have a 32-bit instruction, you can easily reference the binary using eight hexadecimal numbers. As an example, consider the 8-bit binary representation of 90. Here we have binary 01011010. Break this into two sets of four and code each using hexadecimal. The first set is 5. The second set is 10 or A. We can represent the number 90 as 5A in hexadecimal. One place where hexadecimal shows up conveniently is when coding colors. A pixel is made up of certain amounts of red, green, and blue. We can show this by coding each color using two hexadecimal digits, meaning that we can use 256 different values for each color. This six character sequence can then represent over a million different colors. In our next lesson, we will look briefly at how we encode real numbers in binary.